Open Premiere Pro. Go to Window and enable the Essential Graphics option to show the Essential Graphics window. Click on the Install Motion Graphic Template button on the bottom right of the window and choose the Map Route Generator Mogurt file. Create a new sequence and import the template. Click on the Change Sequence Settings button to conform the sequence. This template is quite heavy, so it is recommended to set the playback and the paused resolution to one-eighth or a quarter. Now, select the track and let's start with the customization from the Edit tab. The first thing we need to do is to set the duration of the path animation. In the example, we'll set 15 seconds, so we can cut the remaining part of the layer. The next control allows us to reduce the opacity of the clouds. It can be useful during the pin placing operation to have a clear view of the Earth map. The Enable Custom Map option switches the Earth map to our custom map. If we tick this checkbox now, the template informs us that no custom map has been found. Later, we'll see how to use this function. The static view disables the camera movement and can be useful to place the pins on the map having a global view of the map. Furthermore, you can use Static View in combination with the Hide Map option to create multi-path animations. We'll see them later. The background color sets the color of the outside map area. And finally, the Show Path line enables or disables the path visibility. Before adjusting the parameters of the camera, we can place the pins on the map. By default, the pin number is set to 5, but, of course, we can change it. In this example, we'll set 7, and we are now ready to move them inside the map, changing their X and Y value. Once all pins have been placed, move the time indicator at the end of the animation. In this case, after 15 seconds. If the path shape is not as we expected, and we prefer to adjust curvatures manually, we need to enable the Custom Path option. With this, we have full control of the path, and we can adjust the in and out tangents of each point. Unfortunately, Premiere doesn't show vertices handles, so initially it can be less intuitive. But, with a little practice, it becomes very simple. If we prefer to have a sharp path, we can just enable the Sharp Path Line checkbox. The time has come to adjust the camera position. Use the camera elevation, the camera distance, and enable the depth of field to get a more realistic result, keeping in mind that the depth of field increases the rendering time. The aperture slider sets the amount of blur on the out-of-focus area. We are now ready to enable the animation. Move the time indicator to the beginning and disable the static view. A great feature of Map Route Generator for Premiere Pro is that we can add or remove pins or modify their positions whenever we want. The animation will be automatically updated. The first control of the Pins option is Pins to Hide. How does it work and when can this option be used? Here is an example. 
Let's assume we want to create two points to a path that starts from New York, passes through Spain and Madagascar, and arrives to Brazil. Well, since the pins basically represent the vertices of a path line, we have to place more pins in order to obtain the path curvature that we are looking for. The problem now is that these pins are unnecessary because they don't represent points of interest, but they have been used with the only purpose of adjusting our path. For this reason, we can use the pins to hide function. Just type the number of pins to hide separated by a comma. In this example, the pin 2 and 3. All pins are visible for the entire duration of the animation, but if we prefer to reveal our points of interest when the tracker gets near the points, we can tick this checkbox. Depending on the camera view, we can also decide whether to place the pin horizontally or vertically on the map. We can now adjust the path appearance, changing its color, setting the width, choosing whether to use a solid or a dashes path modifying the gap between the dashes, and finally increasing or decreasing the path shadow. Map Route Generator for Premiere Pro includes 10 tracker styles, and of course, we can change their color and scale them up or down. Finally, we can add a text on all pins or only on some of them. Simply type it in the corresponding text field and adjust the X and Y position. We can also change the font color. This will affect all texts in the animation. Unlike Map Route Generator for After Effects, the Premiere Pro version doesn't allow you to stop tracker on points. But if we want, we can use a fast method to stop the tracker. Just move the time indicator to the tracker stop position. Cut the layer and move the cutted part forward to create a gap as long as the duration of the stop. Move the time indicator to the last visible frame of the layer. Click the right mouse button and choose Add Frame Hold. Now drag the frame to extend the freeze duration. It is possible to create multi-path animations, but with a limitation. The map must be static. So, let's start. First of all, enable the Static View option and choose the camera view for our animation. Now, as we did before, place all pins, create the path, and make all desired modifications. Once finished, duplicate the Motion Graphics Template layer and tick on the Hide Map checkbox. Place this layer above the main animation. Now, change the position of the pins to create the second path and customize it to give it a different appearance. To create further paths, just repeat this task again and again. Map Route Generator for Premiere Pro includes a map of the Earth, but unfortunately, Premiere doesn't allow you to replace it with a different one. 
In order to replace it with our custom image, we need to open After Effects. After opening After Effects, go to File, Open Project, and choose Map Route Generator for Premiere Pro.Mogurt. After Effects immediately asks where to extract the content of the file. Choose a folder and press Extract. Make sure to have the Essential Graphics window active. If not, go to Window and click on Essential Graphics. It's time to import our custom map. So, go to File, Import, File, and choose the new map image. Drag this image into the custom map composition. Adjust its scale to fit the composition size and, very important, turn it to 3D layer. Now, give a different name to this motion graphics template. For example, My Custom Map. Save the After Effects project and finally press the Export Motion Graphics template. Go back to Premiere Pro, click on the Install Motion Graphics template, and select the template we just created. Now we see the Earth map, but if we tick the Custom Map checkbox, we can work on our custom image. That's all. Thanks for watching.